Hey guys, Tech Flash here, and today I have for you a very exciting unboxing and review. This is actually a first exclusive hands-on look into a phone that I can safely say you won't be able to find a video out there about this phone anywhere else on YouTube. And as you can see on the box, we have the Mac for the Future slogan mentioned, and we not only have a phone, but we have a couple of accessories that come alongside with it. If you're watching this after the Realme live session where they launched this phone, then you may have an idea of what this is. And as soon as we open the box, we can see the words open to a new magnetic era, which actually defines the main feature of this phone. You can also see that the date which this phone is being launched on is actually today. So coming right up to the phone from the front, this looks like a fairly simple and normal phone with a slightly curved display and a punch hole camera at the front. However, it feels very premium in the hands. On top here, we can see the microphone, the volume rocker keys and the antenna bands on the side. And this phone actually comes in a glass sandwich type design which is wrapped around an aluminum frame. On the bottom, we can see the USB-C type slot, the SIM tray, and the speaker grills as well. On the other side, we actually have a button, apart from the power button, which I haven't really figured out what it is. Further in the box, the first noticeable thing that I see is the charging brick, which Realme calls the Super Dart Charging, which we have seen before on Realme phones, and which is actually a 65 watt fast charger. We also see the Type-C charging cable, which is yellow from the inside, which signifies the Realme Super Dart Charging. Now, if we take a look at the other side of the box you'll get to see why you actually clicked on this video and what makes this phone so unique and that is Realme's latest mag dart charger basically this is a wireless charger and if we take a look at the back of it you see that there are a few openings which gives it a kind of like a retro speaker type look but actually these are air vents which provides active cooling through a fan which is integrated inside the charger if you're wondering yes there are a few things missing in the box this actually comes with a power bank which is often detained at the airport depending from country to country which would have been placed here in the middle so you may or may not see this in some other unboxings taking a further look at this small slim device this is actually also a super dark charger which if you think about chargers usually come in a very big bulky design like the one that we just saw here but this is fairly slim and almost a third of the original charger and that is because realme is using the latest gallium nitride technology which basically allows you to have a thinner profile and the good part is that this is still a fast charger charger which provides you 50 watts of electricity and the reason for that is that the wireless charger itself also provides you 50 watts of wireless charging. Now the unique feature about this wireless charger and this phone perhaps which is the first ever seen in an Android device is that this phone has a magnetic wireless charging back which grabs a hold of your phone. Looking at the back of the phone we have a triple camera setup alongside an LED flash and you can also see that it says Matrix AI camera here as well. It also has a very minimal Realme branding which gives the phone a clean look and that is pretty much it for the design. I've set up the phone now and we can see an AMOLED display here at the front which also has an in-display fingerprint scanner and it also comes with a 120Hz fast refresh display which is slightly curved as I had mentioned earlier. When it comes to the specifications this phone is a proper beast although I would like to mention that this is just a concept phone and this is not official yet but if or when it comes out you can expect for it to have very high specifications. This phone comes with a Snapdragon 888 processor which is paired with Android 11. Furthermore, this actually comes with 12 gigs of RAM as well. But let's touch back again on the main reason why you guys are watching this video which is the new MagDart charging feature. Putting it on the magnetic charger we can see that it already started to charge and there are a few things that I wanted to showcase here. If we go to the battery settings you can actually tweak the charging levels and what I mean by that is that you can actually have it at full charging or you can have the quiet mode which basically means that it's not going to charge at a full 55 watts at all times. If we turn on the quiet charging uh, you can actually hear the fan uh, going a little bit quiet which means that if you're putting this beside your bed or if you're annoyed by the noise you can actually have a less wattage which will basically decrease the charging level as well but if you turn it off then you can actually have it charging at 55 watts at all times as well one more thing which I think is really important here when it comes to the magnetic charging is the magnets itself and the feel of the magnets which are quite strong. And because of that, if you don't align your phone perfectly when you're placing it on the charger, the magnets will make sure that your phone is aligned the way they should be. Realme also informed us that they are coming up with a bunch of accessories just like we saw a ton of cases, chargers on the iPhone. Similarly, we've seen other things like the wallet which will be compatible with the MagDart charger. So there are a lot of different features 
features that are already in development and a lot of accessories that will be actually coming alongside this magnetic charging. And I gotta say that it's pretty exciting to see Realme come up with this technology. Um, this actually marks the first Android phone that has come up with magnetic charging and I can't wait to see what lies ahead. Also, I should mention that this charger is actually providing a lot more power than what Apple's MagSafe currently provides. They only provide 15 watts of charging whereas Realme took off with 55 watts which is a very very big difference. Realme also announced like I mentioned before that this phone is really not a public phone is not a phone that has been actually released but the reason why we saw this phone is basically just to showcase you guys the technology that Realme is coming with and Realme will be actually launching this in 2022 so the main reason for the launch today was actually just to showcase what they have planned for the future. Anyways guys I hope you really enjoyed this video just as much as I did in making it and I hope you guys are excited as I am on the upcoming similar products as I had mentioned before this is an exclusive first hands look so please make sure to subscribe share with your friends turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out on anything and thank you again for everyone that has watched this video and everyone that has subscribed to my channel please drop a like if you enjoyed the video and until then I'll see you guys in the next one peace out